I just wanted to do a follow-up about this enclosure for the Ort Tour uh, LM2 that they sent me. And first thing I did before I used is I removed those bottom panels because they kind of bowed down slightly because they were sitting on top of this lip. When you put it on a board, they had like a, a low spot in the middle. So what I did is I cut a board the right size for that and I um, double-sided taped those bottom plates to it with the lips facing down and then I wanted to just hook this up to my other laser enclosure so I could run them both at the same time to vent it and here you can see I did uh, put this on another one of those frames that I got off of Craigslist so I put some wheels on it put computers in the bottom and the monitor on the top and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill the hole in the back corner of my other enclosure here and I'm just going to have this fan blow the, uh, the smoke into there and then use the main fan to move it out so I can actually run both lasers at the same time. And I don't need another vent through the window or another, um, you know, valve, flapper valve for it. So there you see I've got that one into there and the smoke just does blow into there. And then I, um, I run this main one and that's got the valve on the outside and stuff so cold air can't come back in. So that's the way I decided to go with it. And if you look inside there, I did, you can see I did flip those uh, bottom plates around and then I put screws right through everything to mount it down to that tabletop that I cut. And um, put it on a, on a frame there. And it does uh, blow right into that back corner of this old enclosure. And this is what it looks like. I did put a little thing on the side there for the keyboard and mouse, so I can use the uh, light burn right there. And uh, side, I'm gonna just. I just want to take a little photo of my wife and her sisters and cut a jigsaw puzzle out of it to try. And just make sure how this whole airflow thing works between the, the two of them. So you see I put a little piece of perforated aluminum down in this one here too to raise it up off the ground and I double sided a uh, piece of 1.5 millimeter base basswood plywood in there and here I'm going to just start engraving and cutting and this is just a test to uh, to make sure that the enclosure does vent it all out and actually you can see I did throw a LED strip in the top of this enclosure too. Uh, I put a bigger power supply brick on the fan and I'm using that to run the LED too. And it's limited view to what you can see through the windows and uh, you can catch a little glimpse of the laser out that corner there because the cover doesn't quite sit centered but otherwise it really does offer great protection from uh, you know the laser beam and it also does do a really good job with the fumes. Um, this test was just to make sure the fumes didn't get into the house and um, that fan on the back of it actually did a good job collecting and then when my uh, unit back there got full I turned on the other fan so I could evacuate it. So here I am about 10 minutes into this project running and you know absolutely zero smell in the in the room and you can see I'm going to try to make a jigsaw puzzle out of that. Now um, this laser is not the best I found out for making jigsaw puzzles because the width of the line it cuts and it's not quite as good at engraving as an LM2 Pro. So if you're going to get a laser I would um, I would really recommend that you uh, upgrade to the LM2 Pro actually, the newer model. Because it does do a finer cut and a little better job at the engraving. But you know basically this is the test for the enclosure and you can see uh, here that 39 minutes. Actually it ran for about an hour until it was done. And now we're cutting out the jigsaw puzzle in here, so uh, it's good, you know, a lot of smoke coming off of the, the cut, but the fan in the back there is really doing a good job of collecting it, and nothing's coming in the room, so it does look like this uh, enclosure really is a nice enclosure for this laser if you uh, don't want to build one. And there it is, just finishing up, cutting out that puzzle, and you can see the lines that it cuts are a little bit wide. But uh, it still it still cuts up to this 1.5 millimeter basswood plywood. So there it is. Uh, you know the smell was contained. I did uh, make a mistake of double sided taping that down, so it's a little tough to get it off here. But 
you can see I got a perfect jigsaw puzzle and I just have to uh, peel off that double sided tape that I put under that section there. So it did work good. Um, the enclosure worked perfect. No smell. Uh, this puzzle did come out nice. If it was larger it would have been better but uh, you can see the width of those lines there and you can actually see that I did break off one corner of that basswood peak, that one part there, trying to get it off the tape. So in the end, this really does do a good job at controlling the fumes and also controlling the, uh, you know, the reflection from the laser coming out of there. And I just did, you know, I made a couple little changes to it, put a couple of stickers on it just to make it match my other things. So this did come out pretty good. You know, the lines are a little thick, but it's really kind of small anyway. It would have to be made bigger, but I'm going to run that again on my LM2 Pro and see what the difference is next. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.